This was so sweet, like, my heart's gonna blow up. Look at this man. I love him. How can you not? Hello, Claire Bears. It's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. February felt like a busy, busy time in the world of K-pop. It felt like comeback after comeback after comeback, especially towards the end of the month. But this month somehow felt quieter, at least for the groups that I follow. However, it can be that quiet because I have six different songs and music videos that I'll be reacting to today. We've got girl groups, boy groups, soloists, Korean songs, Japanese songs, a lot to get to, so let's get to it. But before we do, please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. For today's beverage of the day, we have a raw organic Georgia peach flavored water. And it's got, you know, vitamins and stuff. But it's like a 20 calorie version, so very like <laughs> stevia tasting. So as usual for these comeback catch-up videos, we're gonna go in chronological order, starting with the first song of the month, which was Zero Base One's Japanese comeback and their first Japanese single. Yura Yura. Thanks to some folks on the Zero Base One Reddit, they say Yura Yura generally means to sway back and forth. In this context, it could mean the image of flowers swaying in the spring breeze or flower petals falling down. Yes, I've heard that spring is a really beautiful time in Korea, even though this is a Japanese song, because of all the cherry blossom trees. But when I Google, <laughs> when I Google Japan spring, all that shows up is cherry blossoms. So clearly, it applies in Japan as well. So if this is going to be anything like the Zero Base One songs that I've heard before, it's gonna be nice and sweet. The sweetness of the cherry blossom smell in the air will coincide with the song. So let's listen. Hmm. Flower of Fate. Oh my gosh, that bubblegum <laughs> pink color on Matthew. I barely recognized him. <laughs> <laughs> for a second. I feel like all I've seen him in is that kind of like dark sandy blonde color. So yeah, the, the bubblegum pink is cute. Hmm. Oh. Blonde Chantal. Oh, there's that drum and bass. <laughs> oh my gosh, that like purpley pink. <laughs> A little wink. Mm. This feels like very in bloom. <laughs> Not the wings, I can't. But it really does, you know, obviously with all the flowers and stuff, evoke that in bloom vibe. And then with the, the drum and bass as well. So yeah, it feels kind of like a Japanese in bloom redux. And it's very sweet of this new relationship developing in the spring. Suddenly our eyes meet and my heart flutters in the spring breeze. But I gotta go back to the pre Matthew Wink. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> oh. so sweet like my heart's gonna blow up yeah heart fluttering is right <laughs> I got me over here like Mm. 
Ricky always just looks so elegant. Mm. That like rasp from Teire was interesting. Oh, they were like in a heart formation. as much as I love the really intense k-pop songs and groups I also just love a good sweet pop vibe and that like you da you da baby baby you da you da baby baby that's such an earworm I feel like <laughs> it's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day and as much as I really loved crush I feel like this concept is what suits them the best because they're just like all so cute and I want to <laughs> squish their cheeks this just this like upbeat catchy bop vibe works for them so well and i still plan on reacting to some other cb1 content that's out there because you know who knows when their next comeback is going to be so i do have some ideas of what i might check out but again always open to more so if you have some definitely leave those in the comments but okay shifting gears fairly significantly here <laughs> i feel like with changha featuring hong jung of 80s and this song is called eeny meeny and it's funny because when i initially heard the title of this song it reminded me of the 2010 sean kingston and justin bieber song which i feel like is a song completely forgotten in time it is very much of its era shawty is an eeny meeny miny mo lover so this is actually gonna be my first chung ha song ever and i don't really know anything about her at all but google tells me that she finished fourth in mnet's girl group survival show oh produce i've heard of this produce 101 and then she became a member of ioi and so you know i'm i'm curious to see like what her vibe what her style is and obviously i'm not going to get that with just one song but i'll get a taste here but you know what brought me to this song was the feature of hong jung aka my bias from my alt group so yeah really curious to see what hong jung brings to the table here and how the two of them kind of collide in this collaboration so let's check it out i got tips for you Ooh. All the fashion so far. <laughs> Those harmonies. She seems like such a badass. And all this fashion is incredible. I feel like you really have to have a lot of like confidence to serve some of these looks she's serving, especially with the range too. It's not just like one type of outfit, but it's a lot of different styles. So, you know, she can just pick whatever style she wants, like any, 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 any. But also, this feels like very much like the villain from 80s lore, but like a lot more glam. So I don't know if that was intentional <laughs> or if it just kind of happened. Oh, that was like all English. Yeah, oh my gosh, how many outfits have there been in this video? Like any mini mighty mo. 
<laughs> but she's like serving each look equally well. Okay, we have to watch that again. It would be a crime not to. <laughs> Because I was just like busy staring at him, honestly. But I feel like he did fit into the vibe of this song really well. Of like serving C-U-N-T. So yeah, let's go back. <laughs> oh, so good. I want a whole song of that. Hmm, I was gonna wonder, I was wondering if they were gonna like dance together. Maybe not. But I really do like the vibe of the song. I feel like it's one of those songs where if you need a confidence boost, this is like the perfect song to just like feel your zhuzh. Cause you know, like right from the get go, she's like not sure what to choose. You can pick anything, follow your heart and make your move. So if you just like believe that you can have it, you can have it, whatever it might be. With lines like, ladies, we keep it moving. It's clearly kind of <laughs> targeted towards us ladies to, you know, empower us to move forward with no regrets and not settle for less. But <laughs> I just noticed how basically the entire most replayed is just the Hong Jung rap and that's it. Which, you know, like understandable because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> but like, look at this man. I love him. How can you not? I do kind of wish that they could have done at least one part together, but you know, I get it. I'm sure if they have busy schedules that maybe they just couldn't make it work. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really like the badassery <laughs> of Chung Ha. I love a queen like, you know, So Yen or Hwasa who just live as their authentic selves and really, you know, translate that through their music. So if that's the kind of vibe that Chung Ha gives off, like I definitely want to hear more from her because I feel like she had a really great mix of vocals and visuals and dancing and even the rapping as well. So yeah, I'm here for more Chung Ha if you have any recommendations of what I should check out. But okay, we are Moving on to our next song here from another soloist, V, who's still putting music out despite being in the military. Of course, you know, I'm sure it was pre-recorded with the song Friends, but end within it is in brackets. So does that mean that he wants to end the friendship or that the friendship is ending, that it has ended, or that, you know, he wants to move on and become more than friends and thus end the friendship and start a relationship. And is this going to be kind of like more of the lo-fi vibes that we've come to expect from V after layover? Or do we just get something completely different? So let's find out. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of the Rainy Days music video. Ooh, fancy. Hmm. Hmm. 
this old school vibe. <laughs> That was me like walking around Korea, honestly. <laughs> Everyone's just so coupley there. Oh. Oh, nine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But honestly, it's like, I feel like you can feel that vibe so much when you're single. <laughs> um, it just seems like everybody around you is in a couple and you're the only <laughs> the only single one. Been there. And if he's talking about what seems like, you know, a friendly relationship that's maybe a little bit more than friendly, are we going to see that person turn up here? And also shout out to what looks like multiple queer relationships that they're representing here. I'm glad they included that, but let's keep going. Friends don't say words that make friends feel like more than just. Oh my gosh. It's almost like his loneliness killed him. <gasps> Who's that? oblivious to all the turmoil. Hmm. So could this like be representative of almost like the honeymoon stage of a relationship where you're, you might be like overlooking somebody's red flags or just completely being oblivious to maybe some of the problems that potentially lie ahead for the relationship because you're just like so sucked into it that you know you're ignoring that like they are Yeah. Oh my gosh. So they both somehow led to the same outcome. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that was so fun. Or, you know, as fun as Taehyung getting hit by a car can get. But it does feel like a cautionary tale of, you know, your loneliness can kill you, but also just being like so swept up in somebody else could also get you in hot water as well. So the way you define yourself shouldn't be by whether or not you're in a relationship. But at the same time, like acknowledging and addressing the feelings that you have. And the song was interesting because it almost felt like if you blended a V song with a Jungkook song, this is what you might get. That like poppy, doo -y vibe. Okay, let's now go to a music video from a group I haven't 
checked out in a while, which is The Boys with their latest comeback, Nectar. I don't really have a good reason <laughs> for why I never revisited The Boys after my first couple of videos, which is not to say that I won't. I think it was really just that there was a lot more of a demand for more content from other groups that I was covering, but I felt like this was a good opportunity to dip my toes back in the boys' waters. So let's check it out, and apologies if I forget some of the members, you know, names and stuff. Hmm. He's like eight, oh. I was just gonna say that 8 bit vibes. And it feels like weirdly nostalgic almost. <laughs> I say that just as Julian. 12 seconds later. Ah, oh, yes, nailed it. I'm always proud of myself <laughs> when I remember names. But when Julian was holding that parachute that, you know, when you were like in kindergarten, that you would all sit around and you would wave and then you'd all lift it up at the same time and then sit on it. And it's interesting that they're all in a school when they're all like adults right yeah eric is 23 and then you know them like celebrating like this it feels like a way of reminiscing on this time in their youth so yeah curious to see where this goes now so what how like a pain machine nigga no you can thirsty no pain machine breeze as it out in with the my lips what you go let me know beautiful down in my feet please how to revive it it's just no need to shout it go baby we don't stop it every time every word i know i'm good in my made it you so look some your energy in the sky get the gun no one made the dreams come ah this is so cute <laughs> it feels so like youthful, you know? feels like, you know, they're needing to move on to the next stage in life, but they're just like holding on to these last moments. <laughs> yeah, they're like graduation almost. <laughs> Oh, it's like a little behind the scenes. <laughs> but clearly they're still children. 
they are grown Jesus. children. Which I really do. <laughs> they must have had so much fun making this. <laughs> it's hard not to with all the things they were doing. And the song just had such a positive, uplifting vibe to it. It really does feel like I'm watching a bunch of kids. Never lose that, the boys. Hang on to that feeling. But it did feel, you know, like clearly there were moments of sadness that were kind of peppered in there when it's almost like reality is hitting you. But still, despite that, they were mostly living in the kind of savoring of the moment, squeezing every last drop out of that nectar. And this is a very different vibe from the boys' songs that I've listened to so far. I mean, you know, The Stealer and Maverick were very like intense. And I guess Thrill Ride was kind of the closer one to this. But the instrumental, I feel like, went with the music video so well in terms of there just being this like fun, happy, positive vibe with just like this little twinge and undertone of sadness that like I can't quite pinpoint. So yeah, this is making me <laughs> want to dive right back into the boys. So of course, again, if there are music videos or songs that I should check out, let me know down in the comments. All right, next song here, which I dressed for the occasion. We have Purple Kiss with BBB. I've really, really enjoyed Perky's kind of like quirky vibe. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Perky is quirky. Oh my gosh. That would be an awesome like tag <laughs> tagline for the group. I'm sure someone else has come up with that before, but if not, you have my full permission, Purple Kiss, to just steal that. So I'm curious if BBB is going to be that quirky vibe that I'm used to from Perky because I feel like last year we got a, 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 a range from them between Sweet Juice and Seven Heaven. So yeah, who knows what we're gonna get here, but I noticed there are no lyrics, no captions I should say, so I'll have to check those out at some point, but let's listen. You know I get change your life. Huh. Ooh. Little fake young shit and tell a baby junk a mom to buy. But now I'm got the story to check her. It's a baby in the cuz in a fever. To save you. Eagles make it be. I'm a nice creative. My pleasure. Don't be alone. You can't get all the tools you might go. Say what you want. I love the badassery here. Ooh. That purpley is so nice on Swan. Huh. Oh, is that what BBB stands for? I don't know if I've like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. But I was just gonna, <laughs> I was just gonna say, I don't know if I remember a kind of like baddie <laughs> concept from Purple Kiss. They just feel so versatile and that they can pull off like any concept. But Yuki just looks like fierce as fuck here. Did she just like get in like a a fight? 
just like casually has a machine gun. This is somehow just like both fun and also badass at the same time. Swan's voice is always just so unique and beautiful. That was so fun. And I kind of want to know, especially like in Swan's part, what the lyrics were. <laughs> like a villain, no matter what you want, the truth is you're born that way, can't change it. <laughs> and it was all in English. I should have just listened. And <laughs> don't look at other people's eyes. You need to go crazy, get high, say what you want. I'd rather be bad than hurt. Oh, so it's like a shield. So they're showing you like a little bit of a almost like chink in the armor there. But I just feel like Purple Kiss always keep it interesting <laughs> no matter what the concept. And as always, they are incredibly underrated. So I hope that they continue to, you know, get the love that they're getting now, but also even more love in the future that they deserve. Okay, last song here that actually just came out today, the day that I'm filming this, which like V is another song that is coming out during BTS's military service with J-Hope's Neuron. And it's interesting because it's not called a music video, it's called a motion picture. So what does that mean exactly? And then we've got two features as well of Geiko and Yoon Mirae. So let's listen to Neuron. Ooh. Old school hip hop. I feel like <laughs> could have expected that. Feels like different stages of of life. <laughs> you can always rely on J Hope for like a great vibe. Yeah, it feels like 
It's so reflect, like reflective. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I only just noticed this was all in black and white. Yeah, this just like feels like such a reflection on their careers, you know. And it's interesting too that there's like so many voices in the chorus. It gives this like takes a village vibe to it, you know? I feel like this is the perfect song to just like lift your spirits. Hmm. Yeah, that was beautiful. Even without knowing each other's stories, we create moments of love that bridge the gap. Hmm. That's so true though. And that makes sense now <laughs> that it's called neuron of making the connections of like everything that brings us together. And I feel like that's so important. That's more and more important than ever to think about that because it almost feels like even though now in the present day with the internet and everything else, probably half of you who are watching this are halfway around the world. We're more connected than ever, but also at the same time more disconnected than ever. It feels like, you know, with politics and that becoming more and more polarized, that it becomes more difficult to see ourselves as similar than as different. And with lines like, we'll always be alive to move us and we'll never ever give up forever. It feels like <laughs> such a hopeful message, which, you know, tracks for J-Hope and like a reminder to focus on those things that brings us together rather than what separates us. And it doesn't really matter what walk of life you come from. We all can find things in common. So friends, thank you so, so much for joining me for this comeback catch up. We really got a mixed bag of songs here, but you know what? I feel like that's what I love about K-pop is there's just something for everybody, different vibes for different moods, different groups, different genres. K-pop is just not one thing, it's so many things. Even within a group, when you have different soloists, they put out completely different songs. So I'd love to hear what you thought about these different songs, your thoughts as usual down in the comments and looking forward to seeing what April has in store for us. But until then, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe, hope you're taking care of yourself and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.